para ti que es un precio justo. Que se reconozca mi lugar en la organización. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Aparte de tu negocio, yo también protejo a esta familia. Está bien el negocio. ready because the new series Narcos Mexico has everyone tuning in for a taste of the criminal cartel. Oh man, well today we're excited to welcome the actress who plays the character Isabella B B Batista. Say hello to Teresa. Hola. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Oh my god, we're so excited to have you here today. Yes, first Thank off, uh, congratulations on such an incredible role. Uh, it's got to be so awesome for you now that the show is out. and Yeah, it's out. It came out on Friday. So it's been out three, four days. Yeah. And it's been having an incredible, and just the, everybody across the board yeah. is liking it, raving about it. What has been like of, the best reaction so far that you've gotten that really has just hit home I'm for you? There's just too many people that want to marry me now. Ah! Proposals. Well, are, like, well, a are lot you, online. Are what am you I single? Do? There's no <laughs> right. Are these proposals? Uh, nah, I, there, any chance? <laughs> I don't know. You're not, you're not taking <laughs> them serious. It's been working right now. Right, good girl. Right. Good girl. You know, a lot of people are also raving because you're one of the few females on set. I, I believe mm -hmm. the only one that's on set of Narcos Mexico right now. I mean, there, there's other actresses that but might be the only drug dealer. Right. Awesome. Okay. So, <laughs> kind of explain to everyone who may not have seen it mm -hmm. yet uh, a little mm -hmm. bit about your character. Is she based on someone real life or no? She is based on someone okay. in real life. There was a woman who, in the 80s, because we were coming in to tell the story of a conflict that, ha that began in the 80s that is the root of what we're living right now in the, the war on drugs. So, there was a woman in the 80s who... Um, there's been a lot of fictional characters that were that were that have been based on her, and she was mainly nicknamed the Queen. Okay, the Queen of a lot of things: mm, the ocean, right. cocaine, the Queen of. So she was the one who introduced the the character of Felix Gallardo, the the character that Diego Luna plays, right. to the to the world of cocaine trafficking. Okay, they, had, they were they were dealing with weed and and just just marijuana, and she came in and said, "What about?" cocaine. Right. Mm. So wow. how did you prepare for this role? Was there any research that you uh, yes. brought into the character? Yes, there's a lot. There was a lot of books and a lot of material, wow. especially because this this show is um, the, what I like about this show is is one of the few very responsible shows that talk about that shed light on an issue that needs to be um, talked about and remembered mm -hmm. right. because as we remember our our past, then we understand our present and we can then change our future and our conditions, the present conditions. So they gave us a lot of a lot of material and um, there was also, I think there's also just so much separation because it's so recent. So mm -hmm. there was a lot of people that, that told me about those days yeah. and how they lived them and how they experienced them. Yeah, and you talked a little bit about uh, Diego yeah. Luna, but but Michael Pena, there's so many amazing people in the cast. Yes. What was it like working with them? It seems like you guys have gotten so close. Oh yeah, well actually, it's. It was really interesting because the, the producers from Narcos, they're all American, but they have this incredible eye. They just, every time they make a season, it's like they cast, it's like they know we all, yeah. we all can work together well. And I'll, most of the people on the show, I knew them from before we grew up working together. Right. So it was just one big party to, <laughs> to be together. Joaquin Cosío, Tenoch Huerta, Alfonso Dosal, Tessaia, everybody is it's just... Um, it's like family. It's like being being a family. Sounds like a natural fit. Yeah, and I hear yes. there's a there's a party in the uh, text messages. You guys have a, a group chat going on. Yeah, I was just <laughs> when the show came out that kind of started it because you know it was like the, there were some people that were here, some people that had gone back to Mexico right after the premiere. Okay. So I was just trying to figure out who was here, and then everybody was gone. It was just Tessa and me. Okay. <laughs> and so and so we started texting everybody like, oh, have you seen so far? Right. What about this? And then so it's it's just that we we keep it together. Right. <laughs> and then you got to shut the group chats off right. because it just gets too much. <laughs> and I know one thing a lot of people love about uh, this particular series is that everything is in Spanish pretty much, and you have to look at the captions. Right. How has being bilingual helped your career? Um, well, or just the impact on you know on your culture. Yeah, I mean, I am I'm Mexican American, so. People that hear me, and luckily because I travel a lot because of my parents, um, 
I, I speak perfect Spanish and then I speak English too. Like, so people don't think that I can speak one or another. So it's always a great surprise for, for people to wait, you speak Spanish? And then they're like, wait, you speak English? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want to bring it back to uh, the cast really quick because I yeah. love that you guys are just such a family. Uh, Diego Luna, what was it like working with him? Oh, it's great. Everybody's just asking about Diego Luna. <laughs> There's other cast members. I and I'm know, but no, you made some really great ones earlier. Yeah, because, because, look at because this. we have. Uh, yeah, I know. You guys look amazing <laughs> together. Yeah, no, no, he is great. He, I think I think Diego is um, one of the actors in my country that a lot of the the young or upcoming actors look up to. So to work with him and to to also mm -hmm. talk to him is really great yeah. because he's such a responsible Mexican citizen. You know, mm -hmm. he's always going against the. To try and tackle the issues that need to be addressed, and so it's. I think that's part of why he chose to work on this show. Right. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we talked a lot about the fact that you guys know knew each other a lot before getting on set. Is there someone that's a dream guest star or a dream cameo that you'd have in mind for season two? A dream cameo. I. Uh, I think I, I. I don't. I don't know. I think you know the season one. There's Gacha, the Luis Guzman. Okay. And Luis Guzman is a great friend of mine. Okay. So I'm like, why don't you write a scene between like Isabella and Gacha? Ah! <laughs> you just knew we were friends. Why didn't yeah, you write it in? Right. <laughs> yeah, we are like we always talk about having a cooking show because that's all we do. We're just like. Oh. <laughs> is that what you guys do? Like, so when you're not filming and you guys are all together, what can we find you guys doing? Cooking? Yeah. Cooking. Uh, what else? Just hanging just, out? Just yeah. Like one just big family. Resting. I think, yeah, just, I mean, we have, because a lot of us come from, we shoot in Mexico City, and some of them live there, but a lot of us are also somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And so we stay in the same hotel, and it's just like one big, big salsa family. party after oh, another karaoke. It's, it. it's really great. I love it. Well, Teresa, yeah. thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you so Congrats. much. Yeah, we love it. Be sure to check out Teresa Ruiz on Netflix's original series, Narcos Mexico, streaming right now, and get ready to marathon it, especially this holiday weekend. Yes. Thanks again, girl, for stopping by.